Happy World Breastfeeding Week. Here's my letter board for that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so I wanted to make a breastfeeding essentials video um, just because I've learned a lot in my nine and a half month journey of breastfeeding and uh, there are some things that I wish I would have maybe taught myself or researched more or had friends teach me uh, before I began my journey. So here we go. Of course I have a list. First thing, we'll talk about clothing. So. I have found that um, nursing bras are essential, um, I think, an essential item. This here, however, is a pumping bra, and it was like 20 bucks from Amazon. It has an um, extender. It's the Mom Cozy brand. Anyway, so when it's on, you're supposed to be able to be hands-free while you're pumping. So it has the clips, which snap down so you can nurse. And this is on the outside, this strap goes on the outside. Maybe it goes on the inside, I don't know. Um, I use it literally twice. So the other thing is pumping wise, there's two panels. I did not like this one, I would not recommend it. It gives you a uniboob, like I would not wear this in public. I wore it to work a couple times to change into to pump, but um, there's a double panel here, so I'll just use this fake pump, hand pump. Um, you tuck that in eh, into the panel and it sits so that when you're hooked into a wall or elect electric electronically <laughs> pumping, not versus hand expression um, pumping, then it's supposed to stay in place. That's one. Would not recommend though. Here's the inside. There's a hole. This is why it gives you a uniboob because there's literally a hole in here. And then this is where that slit is. It's kind of hard to tell on button, but that's the inside. So pumping bra, I don't know that that's necessary because there's a hack to use a real bra to use as a pumping bra. Um, by far my most favorite nursing bra, I guess I, I can't speak to other brands because I never tried any other brands, but I just went with the Target brand Auden, Auden, however you say that. Um, bra, nursing bras. I got two padded ones, wire free. Um, I hear wires can cause clogged ducts. I don't know if that's fact or myth, but some women struggle with that. So here it is on the outset. It's super flattering. When your milk comes in though, your boobs are like, bam. <laughs> anyway. Um, also has the clip right here, super easy to just unclip and then feed. In two different sizes too, because I bought these before having a baby and people said, yeah, when your milk comes in, uh, you're gonna wanna size up in bras. So they're very comfortable, they've lasted me. And they have an option to go racer back as well with the strap adjusters, like so. Okay, Auden brand, okay. The single best most, I guess I did try a couple other brands now that I'm thinking about it. Yoga Nursing Bra, also Target, Auden brand. I think I got mediums, um, just because it was comfortable for me during pregnancy. I actually started wearing these while I was pregnant. I'm putting this over my clothes, so bear with me. Okay. Super comfy, stretchy. Um, the strap adjusters are in the front, so to loosen, they're loose, and then also tighten right in the front. This never gave me a uniboob, the girls were in place, and it was just always super comfy. So, again, easy access is key. Whip it down, feed, or pump. Um, this is how I used and this comes with padding. It came with removable pads. I removed it because they were always flopping around, folding around, falling out in the wash. Very inconvenient. Um, anyway, it comes with pads if you like that, if that's your jam. So this is what I would do. I would kind of tuck, get my nip centered, and then tuck. And literally, I would just tighten this. This is why I said I don't think you need a pumping bra because these ones I've literally used to pump. So 
obviously get suction started going on your pump, but then once it's going, it's basically, you can be hands free. And I've double done double, so like both sides. It's a little more tricky to do double, but one side is great. Um, this also is the bra that I wore in labor. Um, it was just that comfortable, <laughs> seriously. Okay, moving on. Um, the other thing I would suggest is some type of robe that just opens in the front, preferably uh, like a comfortable fabric for you. Uh, the hospital has gowns, obviously, which are just lovely in style. Not that that matters. You're there to have a baby, not walk down the aisle, uh, fashion runway. Anyway, so the gowns at the hospital, they unsnap at the shoulders and then you can do skin to skin put baby on your chest your belly whatever um the ones post birth they have cute little pink ones for mom and they're like a kimono which is super cute too i however i knew what i was going to be offered at the hospital because i work there but i brought this with me to the hospital um the brand is ecower ecower it's amazon you'll see it once you search for it on amazon um this is super nice because there's a zip on both sides so literally zip on both sides easy access to the boobs for feeding um this was a game changer for me it does have a little hole in it but i seriously wore this i can't even tell you basically every day and every night super comfortable just lets everything hang loose underneath air out I wore this with my Depends underneath, ladies. <laughs> anyway, that is the other, one of the other things that I super love. Sorry, I'm looking around for this next thing. Okay, next thing that I thought wasn't essential were nursing camis because um, you could wear camis under regular clothes or a sweatshirt or a cardigan or kimono or dress even. Um, I won't put this one on over my shirt, but these ones I got I got three of them from Walmart. They are not the greatest, but they don't have padding, so everything was just soft on the boobs. I still could put pads in. Um, and they have the clips, so it folds down. There is a shelf bra built in to that. Um, these have held up. I have a hole in the back of this one, but these have held up for nine months. So, and I did wear these before I had baby as well. So probably a year these have held up. Now, the final thing I would suggest is Auden, Auden, Auden. I don't know. Basically Target's line, bra line now, Intimate's line. They have underwears and bras too. These, I only got two of, wish I would have gotten a black one. I got this white one and then a marble like heather gray one. They are both super nice, very well worth the money i think i paid they, i got them on sale for 50 when they had their 15 percent off nursing bras and camis uh sale the straps are like very sturdy durable unlike the walmart ones and 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 these ones have built-in padding so i'm not sure if you'll see this especially on this white one there's a built-in this is a pad in there it's literally sewn in cup sewn in cup like these are comfortable they are a little like tighter than a typical cami i think there's some spandex in them again they have the clasp to unclasp i wear these all the time i'm surprised this white one doesn't look more dingy than it does because i wear it all the time i did get oh what size did i get mediums in them as well so they are they compress your tummy a little bit but some people like that after birth okay i think that's it for touching on clothing for breastfeeding essentials um the other thing like i said open front sweaters a robe zipper hoodies those are super comfortable um old navy has great ones i this is an old navy Lux tank i have like a million of these the other thing I just size up in like t-shirts and I had plenty of room to just whip it up, put baby under and feed. Next, moving on. This is a nursing cover. It's from Copper Pearl. 
super super soft i could i wish i could just sleep in this um it's a they're five and one so it actually is a car seat cover and it has the angled like over your shoulder kind of thing my nail keeps catching smaller at the top wider at the bottom fits over the car seat high chair i've used it as a blanket in the car seat um as we're running in and out of places and then a cover over the infant car seat so covering up is the mother's option i however have just said i don't care what people think so i'm gonna feed my child wherever he needs to be fed and that's hard for some people um i get it it might be a confidence thing it might be you've been told no you can't do that here feed your child here in the past people get told to go to the bathroom and feed their child i'm like that's disgusting and how dare people it's literally law that breastfeeding women can feed their child with or without a cover in all 50 states so just putting that tidbit of information out there into the world okay so this is how i would do it i'd get both of us underneath here pretend this is baby side and then i would pop my arm because i am a naturally hot person i get sweaty a lot and so i would latch we would latch underneath here the very few times i think i've maybe used this i use it at first in public and then i'm like this is a hassle because he was hot and i was hot anyway so just i pull up my shirt and i am wearing a bra underneath here pull up my shirt latch him unlatch my bra latch him and then go about feeding and then i have one arm free as well so this is a optional thing but i did get it because i knew we were going to use it over the car seat in the winter going in and out of places probably one of my favorite things one of my favorite things let's talk about a pump i was generously given two pumps the medela pump in style advance this is an older model now it's like a oval shape that sits upright very discreet compact thing these are kind of chunky to lug around i got two of them from her plus a car charger this part of the pump the valve and i did get new membranes so use your own discretion it's your own personal choice but i trusted the person i got these from i steamed them sterilized them soaked them in dawn dish soap let them air dry probably two or three times as i was nesting before i had baby and we used these i got my own sets of tubing i got the my own membrane sets this little part right here that little flap on the medela um so yeah this is a pump i wish I, someone would have told me to bring it to the hospital. I did end up bringing it, but that's something I was like, oh, maybe I should. So I actually did, and I had the lactation consultant there show me how to hook it up, show me the settings, show me how to use the letdown button, the magic milk maker button. This is how you ask your boobs for milk. Figure out where your letdown button is or setting is on your pump. So then this is just the on-off dial, and then you can double pump or single sidedly pump you just got to use this little cover on this and pump off one side um yeah a pump i think is essential especially if you're a working mom or if you're going to be away from baby for an extended time um for whatever reason a pump is definitely worth the investment if you're buying yourself or if you can find it on marketplace the other thing is you got to figure out once you have a pump um what bags you're going to be dumping milk into so these came with, I did get some, Medela bottles. This is, you attach this part to the tubing right here, and you pump away. So in the beginning, when I, I barely used my pump in the beginning, I waited until my milk came in and my milk was regulated. They say, I think six to eight weeks, sometimes a little longer than that, to know what baby needs and what, like, supply and demand. That's what breastfeeding is all about. So the, in the beginning, I would pump into this bottle and once i was done unscrew wash the parts and then i would put it into just zip top um like zippy bags like the up and up brand lansano um any type of breast milk bag so the one not these type but they had like a ziploc top i put in there date 
and in the beginning I did date and time but then I said time really doesn't matter to me in ounces in these bags so then um, the other thing is you need to check breast milk storage guidelines so the CDC has a whole chart on how to do that and what's appropriate for sitting it out fresh pump milk after it's touched baby's mouth you only have two two hours I believe to use it and then how good is it in the freezer or the fridge and for how long okay so this is the kindy or kind I call it kindy <laughs> but I think it's kind there it is k-i-i-n-d okay so after I had breast milk bags that I had gotten from shower and just people who'd had kids before me super grateful for that I started using these I needed an adapter for my pump which it came with the starter kit of the this brand came with these and then I would just pump right into the bag super nice less transferring of milk less mess in the long run and then would unhook clean the parts put the lid on lay it flat that is the key lay it flat to freeze do not stick it up like this because then you have all the milk down here and it's like a at the bottom okay we're like going on through this this is gonna be a long vlog but this is essential stuff i now think let's backtrack um this is probably tmi but i had one flat nipple that just wouldn't get erect when baby was on it that was this was in the hospital so it was super nice that i was there and hadn't noticed this issue the nurses noticed it as well and one lovely nurse brought me these shells now haka makes a shell now i think they're ladybugs and lv and i'm sure there's other cheap amazon brands that make these as well so it's a shell it has air flow at the top it, this is a Mandela one so they handed me this it came in a two pack at the hospital after birth um the nurse was like i don't know why they don't give these to all women um maybe at their like 38 39 week appointment one of their last doctor's appointment to just help get the nipples ready for feeding and latching so it comes this is super f soft silicone and you just put this on like this and so this part i won't show but i always had to make sure it was on tight it literally this hole is where your nipple goes so it goes around the nipple and it can sit in your bra so convenient here's maybe what this side maybe is a more flatter nipple that needs to become erect so literally this part goes around it like that and then the nipple like almost gets sucked through there so then when you're done with it the nipple gets sucked through oh look there it is and the nipple pops out I'm using a lemon because this is the best without being indecent on YouTube. Shells. Get them beforehand if you can or see if your doctor's office has them. Sometimes you can ask for things like this from doctor's office. Definitely recommend a hand pump. Doesn't have to be Medela. This is like the Harmony, I think. Literally, pop it on and you hand pump. And the front is your milk, milk maker button. It's the let down button to short poles and then this part is long poles for um like I imitating when baby is suckling versus actually drinking highly recommend for traveling in the car for being away from your baby or even just to help pull more milk from the opposite boob you're, boob you're feeding on so if i was feeding babe on this side you can do this on this side if you wanted to and then i'd have baby supported so i'd have a hand free you need sharpies to write on bags Tr don't write on them after you freeze them it doesn't work that great the sharpie doesn't work that great these are just tips and tricks that i've learned along the way <laughs> this video is probably very random to some but anyway. okay next thing that i thought of um in the beginning i had like a half unused pack from a friend uh of the disposable nursing pads and then i knew i was going to run out eventually and i didn't want to buy more of those disposable nursing pads because that's literally just a waste a lot of people like them they're a great thing but my personal opinion is save the earth wherever you can so i ended up getting 
these little heart ones are pink hot pink blue and black i think i got or just black i can't remember anyway bamboobies they're, these are at target amazon wherever um they literally just sit to help any little drips that happen which does happen for some women some women have like a water fountain a extremely fast letdown um you name it these will catch it and they just sit in your bra so if milk was coming out of this nipple it would catch it and it's soft on this side this is a different material than the pink side i use these frequently in the beginning for sure i don't use them anymore now i think i stopped using them probably around three or four months um but overnight oh that's a whole nother story definitely i had circle i have a, di a different set i don't know where i got them i think amazon they're thicker um so they held more when i was sleeping for three hours at a time two or three hours at a time um they held more the thicker ones did that's that okay next um this is a godsend if you have boobs and you're using them to feed your child you need a haka I ended up investing, this was on sale, I don't know, way before I even had my child. Um, it's the one with the lid. Okay. This is actually a type of hand pump as well, so you can literally pump like this. Some people do, I don't know how they do that, I never mastered that. But this is how it works. It's just a milk collection device, basically, and it uses some suction. Um, so you fold the top over. You squeeze the grenade, and then you let this form to your boob. So I'll show you again. I'll show you on the lemon. Fold it over. Put your nipple, center your nipple, otherwise it'll rub up against the side and it might hurt. Um, and then suction, squeeze for suction, squeeze the grenade. And I always use just one or two fingers to pop it over. So then it acts as a, I don't know if it'll be able to, oh yeah, there. See, it has suction to it. So then it sucks milk out. So this is what I did in the beginning. Um, first, like, like I said, four weeks. Actually, I think I started using this right away. Maybe two weeks after like straight breastfeeding did I start collecting. Just because I didn't want to tell my body to f make more milk on one side when I didn't really need it. Um, so this is how... I would do it. I'd put this part on one side and it would suck down the letdown and I'd feed my child on this side and I'd have one hand or two hands. Sometimes I'd have two hands because it stayed and I could do whatever I wanted. Scroll on my phone, write down in his baby book, whatever. Um, super helpful. Highly recommend. 12 out of 10 would recommend this if you're planning on breastfeeding. Get it ahead of time, get comfortable with it, and same thing goes for your pump, your hand pump, get comfortable with it, play with it, literally. That's how I learned. This is optional, totally optional, not necessary, but I found it as an essential in the beginning because babies are small enough that they can literally just lay on this. So this is the Boppy, very popular item. The other um, popular breastfeeding support pillow is called My Breast Fend Friend. And that one has a skinny, thick, well, skinny thick, a skinny structured foam pad in the front and then it buckles around mom in the back. This one just has the openings and it just flies on like that. So then you Literally, they're just like wearing a little boppy hula hoop. Anyway, um, so then you can lay babe here and feed and then flip sides. Or you can, sometimes I would do a different hold and I put it towards my side. So baby's head would be here and his feet would be behind me facing backwards. And he would feed that way as well. This, if you get a boppy, get the water. I have the water resistant protector on it right now. So this is the actual boppy material. This is just a protector. And then I would have an additional fun, I had cactus and succulent ones, um, palm leaves, whatever, cover. Just because spit happens, pee happens, uh, leakage from your boobs happens and it's right on your pillow. So then this is water protected. It doesn't stain the actual boppy pillow. All is good in the world. 
left and we're almost to the end. So the other thing, the other tidbit, you can never warm breast milk in the microwave. You're supposed to use a bottle warmer or what we've been doing is just running it under hot running tap water, like scorching tap water. And then I'd shake it a little bit every once in a while and break up, this is a frozen one, break it up, shake it more, let the water run, shake it a little more, let the water run. And it really, I've gone this entire nine months without a bottle warmer. I didn't feel that was necessary either. Especially if you're feeding from the kindy system, kind system, it warms easily through the bag. Same with the other zip lock bags that we had in the beginning. Speaking of this system, so this is the bag. Pretend there's milk in here. It slides into the bottle. I highly recommend this whole system if you're breastfeeding or planning on pumping in any capacity. Literally clicks in. You'd screw the top off. So then there's milk, open milk. Oops, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, there. Jeez, and then these, it comes with different nipple sizes. Flow size is very important when it comes to breastfeeding. This is a medium flow. They come with, um, I got a two slow flows, a medium flow, and one fast flow. I've used the fast flow once in nine months. I make him work for milk when it comes from a bottle. And there you have it. Nipples on, you feed, there's no air. A lot of people say this is good for colicky babies too that take on extra gas. Um, we didn't have that issue, so I wouldn't know. But the other thing is breastfeeding babies sometimes, not all times, we didn't have issues with this, which is I'm thankful for, um, don't take to certain bottles. So we did use the Medela bottles um, with some of his first bottles that he had, probably like a month into life, two months into life. And the, it just came with a yellow, it had a yellow this with a plain old nipple in the front. And we fed that way. He took these bottles fine. Which was nice because I could just pump and then someone else can give him a bottle. The other bottles we got, um, he took MAM, the MAM bottles. He took those fine. Those are at grandma's house when we went and traveled there. And then I did get a whole set of Boone Nursh bottles. These are super, I love them. <laughs> They're, we've only barely, rarely used them. But this is more I got just in case breastfeeding didn't work out for us, which would not have been a problem. I have no problem using formula, um, but this was in case of needing to formula feed. So I did get two little ones and two big ones in a set. Comes with four parts or five parts, literally. The outside shell, which baby can hold on to with those holes. A silicone bottle. This is where the milk goes. And then it's a wide neck and a nipple. Literally just goes on like that. And there's a lid. So I would say get freebies from friends. Try different bottles if your baby's not taking a certain type. Just keep trying. And if not, you can always use a syringe to feed. You can use a um, spoon to feed, an open cup to feed. Yes, newborns can drink from an open cup and newborns can eat from a syringe. We did have to do that, mm, I think twice in the very beginning, like first week of life. He wasn't, he didn't want to latch for some reason, whatever reason, and so we fed with a syringe, literally like a five mil or three mil syringe, because baby's tummies are so tiny in the beginning. Gosh, we're getting down to the wire. So, Medela, Dr. Brown's, I'm sure a bunch of other companies make these steaming bags. So, this is what I would do after I used pump parts. Disassemble pump parts. Put the, toss them in the bag. And then you have to fill it with at least two ounces of water. I usually put... Damn, there's sirens. Hmm. Anyway, um... At least two ounces of water. Jeez, I get... Squirrel. Anyway, so I would fill this up with water. And then you literally... It zips. Shut. Clicks. It's microwavable. Good for up to 20 uses. So this one I've used a handful of times. You just mark it off with a Sharpie every time you use it. And we put nipples in here from bottles. We put pacifiers in here. Um, chew toys we put, I put in here. Anything that can be, needs steamed or needs cleaned that way, I put in this bag. And they come in a, actually it's a really great deal I think. They come in a five pack and you can use each bag 20 times. I think it's well worth the investment. My Boone bottles came with the grass that sits on the counter, the drying rack, um, which is a very popular item. But 
highly suggest a bottle brush of some type to get in the nooks and crannies and down in the corners. Um, that goes for formula feeding too. Seriously, clean your clean your items well. That's one. Me and my fake boob here. One last thing, really, um, is when it comes to problems with breastfeeding. Seek help, professional help, or go to YouTube. If you don't want to pay or visit, go out of the house, whatever. Look for help. Google your problems. There's a ton of, like, people who've already gone through things that you may be going through or that you can anticipate going through. Um, like me with the, the flat side. He didn't favor my left side ever, literally, even in the hospital. It was always he wanted the right side. It's helped me immensely. I didn't know about this product until I was a day and a half postpartum in the hospital. Thank God for my nurses there because they rock. Um, we also had a tongue tie. We got evaluated for a tongue tie by the lactation consultant in the hospital. A couple nurses did look at him as well and our general family doctor um, who delivered and is my doctor looked at him as well and said, yes, you probably should go see like a pediatric dentist to officially confirm any degree of a tongue tie or cheek ties or lip ties. So he had his lasered underneath, which is interesting because that was really tight on him. That line in the middle. Yeah. I might have a tongue tie. It looks like I do. I don't know. It wasn't that popular back in my generation when I was a kid in the hospital. The lactation consultant said, we have a prescription strength um, nipple cream, like soothing ointment to keep the nips healthy. That is another thing. Moms, take care of your boobs and your nips because you can't be successful in, if you're hurting on one side. So this I got, it is myconazole, ibuprofen, betamethasone, bupurosin. It's a topical ointment. It had to be compounded with those items. And this was a lifesaver. I have been telling my pregnant friends right now, I said, just have someone go and get this immediately after birth, after you go home from the hospital, send someone out to get this for you and get the prescription filled to just have it on hand because it was, I didn't get this for probably six or seven or eight weeks and I wish I would have had it before then because I may have had less issues with raw chafing. Nips. And then the other thing that I experienced, I only experienced it once Praise God, seriously. Um, people get clogged ducts a lot. So, um, Lansino makes a, they make these little breast pearls. It's the same idea. Your nip goes in the middle and it folds around your boob. Um, you can use them cool, cold, like frozen, or you can heat them up somehow. I don't know how those ones exactly work. Here's the throwaway nursing pads that I used in the beginning. Thing is, Okay, those ones are actually on sale, but there's a those are a 60 pack for $6.28 at Walmart. Um, the Parents' Choice, you're throwing them away anyway. What brand does it matter? I don't know. Um, the Parents' Choice brand, this brand, the heart at Walmart, that brand is $8.97 for 120 So, I mean, save money where you can as a parent, <laughs> truly. The other thing I didn't have to use or haven't talked about is nipple shields. So that helps with people who have sometimes flat nipples and inverted nipples. So it's a shield, like a really thin shield that you put over your nipple. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It's these, they have them at Walmart. Modella is the most popular brand of them. It literally is just a film and it helps baby latch to the nip, literally. And so you're using a barrier between you and the baby, but it helps them still feed, which some people use them their entire breastfeeding journey and just replace them every few months or however often. The other thing is um, supply issues. So this is probably gonna be a 30 minute vlog. Anyway, I had some supply issues when I got food poisoning one day. Literally, he did not want to latch. And so I went out, got the milk made tea from Earth Mama, and I did get fenugreek capsules from milk flow. They stink to high heavens, but I feel like that helped me. The other thing is body armor. Um, I always got the light version. Costco and Sam's, I think, sell bulk packages of body armor. And so that also they say coconut water helps, which has body armors have coconut water in them. Um, 
anyway, now that I've sidetracked completely about supplement assistance, <laughs> which nothing is truly proven besides getting baby on the breast, supply and demand, or pumping, but getting baby to the breast is truly the best to remove milk as opposed to a hand pump, hand expression, or an electrical pump. So anyway, those like little Lancino cool gels that you can do cold or hot. These were gifted to me. They're called booby tubies. They're actually fabric, um, like rice in them. And they're pliable. And so I had this problem once, I had a clogged duct. So what I did, I got in a hot shower. I massaged down like crazy, and I was leaking milk everywhere. Massaged down crazy, got my child on the boob after the shower. And then this happened like at 3 a.m. one night actually. I was like freaking out because I had this pain like right in the side towards my armpit right here. And I was like, uh, this doesn't feel good. Something's not right. So I listened to my body. That's another thing you should do while you're breastfeed. Listen to your body. Um, came out to the kitchen, heated these up in the microwave, got them like hot that I couldn't even touch them. I was like going like this on my way back to the bath or to the bedroom to lay down. I put these in my bra. Um, literally just put them around, let them sit. Fine, they cooled down enough to where I could tolerate them. Obviously I didn't want to burn my boob, but put them in my raw. Literally, I think I slept with it. I put it on both sides, I do recall. Um, that was a leaky mess, but the clog resolved. Basically, probably on its own, probably more so with the hot shower and nursing baby after that. But these were helpful as well. So yeah, this has probably been very long-winded, but um, I just wish people who don't want to try breastfeeding or don't have initial success and have struggles in the very beginning or do not have support. Um, that's one thing I'm very passionate about as a, as a mom, as a nurse, and just as an individual. Like, if you're having problems, reach out. Talk to other friends or your mom or your grandma or whoever you can to get their experience um, in breastfeeding. To be. My camera cut out, but I just want to say, always reach out for help. Ask for help when you need it. Um, breastfeeding is not easy by any means. It's mentally tough, emotionally tough, physically tough. Some days you're just like, I don't want to feed my kid, take a bottle instead. I'd rather hold you and give you a bottle. This is, I'm being 100% real. I would rather hold you and feed you a bottle and clean this bottle as opposed to you being right up next to my skin, wiggling around, doing your thing, as opposed to having you directly on my breast. And that I had experienced at times as well. So that being said, the last thing, stay hydrated. A good water bottle is essential in breastfeeding. I think so too. Rock on, hang loose, <laughs> rock on. Um, this is my little be kind. It reminds me of my son because that's his nursery theme and his theme for his baby shower and ugh, just gives me the feels. And then the stickers on here. This is a group on Facebook, a mom community called Mamas Move Mountains. And it says Grace, Mama Grace. I have a pin that says that as well. And then my Explore. So just a fun water bottle. I had this pre-baby. Um, I have, I had big, I had water bottles probably everywhere. Had I've always, taking water to bed now after birth. Um, I did like in the last few weeks of pregnancy too, but I was peeing every like five seconds a night, which was terrible. But stay hydrated as a mom. It's important to take care of yourself. Yeah, I think that's it. I tell people I'm an open book when it comes to birth breastfeeding, postpartum, momming, struggles, highs and lows of motherhood. Um, just ask, literally. I'm an open book. I think that's it. This video is long. <laughs> if anyone is still watching, bless you, thank you. Um, this content matters to me. I felt compelled to do this during World Breastfeeding Week because I've seen and watched so many other moms on YouTube that have made these kind of videos and it helped me truly so if this could help even one person it's been worth it thanks bye see you in the next one